This is a video uh, from my online video course, Learn to Color Comic Books 101. It goes over uh, creating basic Photoshop actions. Uh, it's, it's, part, it's part of the free trial for the course, uh, but I thought I'd put it on my YouTube channel as well because I think it's uh, very useful information if you're not familiar uh, with the basics of creating Photoshop actions. So I hope this is helpful. Actions. What are they for? What are they? I'll tell you what they are. They're a lot like um, they're a lot like the uh, shortcuts I showed you in the previous video. Uh, they're a huge time saver. Um, go into more detail. Let's make sure the actions palette is on. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, and first, I'm actually going to show you how to create your own actions. And then use them um, by doing something very basic. Uh, all right, actions are basically a way to record stuff that you do in Photoshop that really doesn't take much thinking. It's basically you just going through a bunch of motions, um, and it will play that out. Um, so let's open up a new window. Interesting. All right. Now the first first actions really I ever created on my, on my own were simple color fills. I mean, you can do, you know, option delete, oh, let's actually get a color on there, option delete, and fill in the a selection or the entire canvas a color, um, but that's a solid color. Let's go back to white. Um, but sometimes, you, you know, obviously when you're coloring, you're not you're going to want to do things that aren't completely solid. So uh, instead of going over, I'm not. I think it's. I'm trying to even remember where fill was. <laughs> There's redo fill, fade fill. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. So here's the fill menu here. What was that underneath? Edit to fill. And yeah, you, know, you can do a fill. So you want to do a 50% fill, so it's normal. You know, you'd have to every time you wanted to fill like a little bit, you'd have to go over here and do that. So what I find handy is actually to create an action. And I've already done this, but I'm going to do it again here. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a special folder or, or set action set and we're going to rename this one well you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to name it L2C fills and could hit OK so again let's fill that with white alright so now we have this set no actions in it yet though so first, I'm going to hit here. Action one. I'm going to call this one a. Let's start with twenty percent fill normal. All right, and then and it's going to be in the set LTC fills. Um, and now here's something handy, and like I've said, I've already done these type of actions, but see, you can program them to an F key. So I'm going to do that. This, this one's going to be on, if I press down Shift, Command, F1, because I already have the F1 already filled, or being used with an action, but so this one's going to be assigned to that. And I'm going to hit Record. And now it's recording, it's going to record any command I do. So again, I'm going to go up to edit, I'm going to go to fill, and I'm going to do 20% fill, foreground color, blending mode normal, and I am going to hit fill. And now I'm going to hit stop over here on the actions palette. And now I have an action. Like I said, this one is 
Shift Command F1. So now if I hit if Shift Command F1, it's going to do a 20% normal fill. All right. Um, now of now let's do some more of those. So I'm going to again hit New Action. This one I'm going to do a 20% fill. And let's do this one. Molt, that's multiply. All right, and put this one F key to F2. Again, it's going to do Shift Command. Um, and like I said, you can put this on whatever combination of F keys you want. I just have I just have a whole bunch of F keys already assigned, so that's why I'm a little bit limited at this point. But for demonstration purposes, all right. So now I've done that and. Let's go edit fill. It's already at 20% foreground color. I'm going to put it down to multiply, which is another mode I use frequently. I'm going to hit OK. And then stop. And now, just like before, if I do Shift Command F2, now it's doing a fill underneath a multiply blending mode. Make it nice and dark. Look at that. Alright. And now another one. I think this will be the last one I'm going to demonstrate. Twenty percent fill. And this one's going to be Lin dodge. That's linear dodge, which is another mode I personally use. You might want to do screen. Some people like screen. I've been using linear dodge lately, so um, I already can't do F3, so I'm just going to skip to F4 for this one. Then I'm going to hit record. And now I do edit, fill, put it down to linear dodge. Say OK. And see this one brightens it up a little bit. So Shift Command. Oh, wait. Let's hit Stop. Let's not forget to do that. OK. So now we got the third fill action. And hit Shift 4. So now I can use the color to brighten it up. OK. And then, so now that we have that, now as we go through, you know, we want to do 20%. Let's do this deep red. I want to do a normal fill, and I can slowly fill it with 20% until I get to the color I want. And say I want to add blue, make it a little bit more purple. I can add a blue. I want to make it brighter than that, so let's do a linear dodge one. I can make it brighter. And basically, it allows you to um, mix and affect colors much more quickly than having to go through and do. Um, you know, go up to this menu or even hitting it was that shift F5 or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. Um, and of course, a lot of things pretty much, I mean, obviously, you can't do an action to select a specific part of the page or anything like that. Like, say, if you have, say, you have. A different color up here. I mean, you can't do a selection to select that. It unfortunately doesn't work like that. Um, but if there's something like that's just like a series of key commands or filters or something like that, actions are very useful to be able to do it. So then you can quickly access that without having to, um, you know, go through the whole rigmarole of going through the command menus and stuff. Um, and when, I, when we get into the actual demonstration, I'll show you some of these action sets. A lot of these are much more complicated. There's a lot of things. And you know you can get creative. You can figure out how to do it with an action. It's very helpful. Uh, so I think with this one, I can assign a, um, assign a homework assignment. Because you'll actually notice, I think it's in here. Yeah, see, I actually did a whole bunch of fills. 
So I actually have 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and all assigned to F keys. Multiply. Uh, oh, color fill. That's a very useful one. Doing a color uh, mode. And you know, a bunch. Of, yeah, then here's the linear ones, linear dodge ones. Um, so yeah, basically go through and create a bunch of different percentages and types. I would suggest normal, multiply, color, and either screen or linear dodge, or both if you want, and assign them to F keys. And uh, that's your homework assignment, and you know, create your own action set to do that. And and then uh, th those will become very useful um, as you actually working through the uh, demonstration. When I'm doing the demonstration, you're working through it. It'll it'll help you a lot. So I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.